Welcome back, folks. Uh, we have the Dow Industrials up 265, NASDAQ up 104, S&P's up 47. Let's go over to our man, Mr. Basil Chapman, as we do each and every Tuesday at 20 past the first hour. Don't forget, folks, Basil does an outstanding show here every trading day. 11 to 12 to 1 Eastern Standard Time, also is a great newsletter, the opening call. Now, the way you get the opening call, come over to our website at TFNN. You're going to see it right under Featured Content, the opening call by our man, Mr. Basil Chapman. You hit that opening call right there. You hit Subscribe, and you can get the opening call for one month for $128. You can get it for six months for $595, which is a savings of $173, or 22% off. Or you can get it for a full year for $995. That's a savings of $541 or 35% off. They all, folks, come, back, come with a 30-day money-back guarantee. You have nothing to lose, everything to gain. Basil Chapman, what's going on? Hi, Tom. How are you doing? I'm doing great, man. And Basil, thank you so much for all the help. I really appreciate it, man. It's a beautiful My thing. My pleasure. Totally. So, uh, you know, <laughs> and Basil would know this, folks, okay? If you've been listening a long time, you know this. It's so crazy. When I take a day off, for some reason, right, the markets can go ballistic. Isn't that funny, yeah, Basil? Do you, do you remember with Goofy Golfer and all so these many guys? Times. I, I mean, it's just crazy, right? We used to have an expression, is Tom flying? <laughs> exactly. It, it, it's so true, folks. It's like, oh, my God. And, the, you know, I, when I saw it overnight, it's Were just, you able to see it where you were? Oh, yeah, yeah. You no, I was. See I, I was. I was, yeah, I, I could see it. Oh, it was like, good. And that, I, was, I was actually saying, oh, my God. I, and, and in both cases, folks, what would end up happening, most of the time, I think we were talking about really the gold market going to the moon or the stock market going to hell on a handbag, right? And it was right. like, I got both of them yesterday. I says, oh, my God, crazy. That was a good day for you, yeah. Crazy. So, so I'm looking at the charts. Right. So we've got the Dow on the left. That's the daily chart. In the middle is the weekly chart. And on the right is the monthly. And yeah. most of the charts kind of look like this of the major indices. And um, you might recall that um, I'd spoken to you about quite a few weeks ago. I said that uh, back on the uh, 16th of July, for subscribers, we had gone short uh, the Dow. We started short position. We then added to it. That was uh, seven points off the all-time high. 27,398 was the Amazing. high. I said uh, start shorting above 27,391. So this is going to be very interesting because you see this pattern. Let me just show this here so that folks who don't know my work can get a sense of what I look at. I just identify the market as having three actions. One is sharp, single line, up and down. Okay. Or you can have an arch formation. You can have a cup formation. Or you can put the, the, the three things together, which gives you what I call a lowercase h. I made it red because if the left side low is taken out, you can go quite a bit lower. And on the right, if the left side high is taken out, you can go higher. That's the green line. Interesting. And, okay. Yeah, and, and it's the concept initially started years ago when I used to hand chart on a graph paper. Yeah. And I found that when I got to this fourth highest peak labeled A, B, C was the third peak, fourth was the, the, the um, peak D, that's where other things could happen. That's where the market could either recycle and go much higher, or that's where you could get your sharpest decline. Uh, it can go to E, F, and G. It's like, like on a piano, you've got your, your A, B, C, D, E, F, G, but there's no H. It's the same thing here. And that, so it's real simple. Straight line, arch, uh, cup, and four peaks. You can go higher, but the four peaks is, is really the, the core to the methodology. Well, here we got, not only that, did we get the peak D at 27,398. We also got a, two little tiny doji candles. I call the one on the left the silent doji, the one right there, the all-time high. Look at that yep. tiny little candle. Amazing. That, it's, it's like when you're throwing a ball up and it reaches zero, zero momentum. It, it's not going up. It's not going down. It's about to turn around and come down. And that's why I always look for these tiny little candles. When it went sideways, I also explained I had a whole bunch of shows. In my Tiger Technicians Hour at noon, I had a whole bunch of shows. I hope this is the chart. No, this is not the chart. Let me just find it because it's really a fascinating chart. I think this is the one right here. <laughs> Too many charts. All right, I'll find it in a moment. Um, I have it. I think, okay, this is the chart right here. So I have a chart that basically shows 
how you've got resistance points automated in the Chapman wave methodology. And you can see there's a whole bunch of resistance levels at the 27,296 right up to 27,474. Yeah. And then there was a support at 27,022, 27, which of course we went right through. Then you can see this orange line, another technique I use, is the 200 period exponential moving average. So putting those things together, I also explained how, I, I spent a lot of shows explaining how when we got the top where we actually shorted there as well back in April the 22nd, the high was the 23rd, the, the moving averages were crossing negative, but it took seven sessions before uh, the, the moving average, uh, the MACD, but it took seven sessions before the nine period moving average crossed negative below the 14 period moving average and that we've got to be prepared in the Dow for a sideways move before we break down. So the whole thing was very methodical. And what was very interesting is that the Dow took, a, took a, its top and took a while. The S&P had one sudden lunge up and also made an alternate count and then went to a peak D at its high on the 16th of, uh, of July. That was um, at 3,027. But look what happened. This is a single leg down in the S&P. You saw the Dow had a couple of troughs. We call them troughs on the yes. bottom, little T-shaped bottom. This went straight down to 28.22, almost a 7% correction in one single move. So you've got to expect that there's going to be some kind of a bounce. Not only that, here as well, the orange trend line of 200 period moving average is key support. So these are things I discussed in my newsletter, which subscribers would get, get every single day. Here's the, the daily, I show exactly what we're looking at. Here's my comments at the end. I said today, if the futures remain strong, a bounce to Dow plus 170s or more must hold through 2 p.m. Eastern time to last strong into the close. Where are we now? We're up 276. So I give guidelines every single day. So it's a really comprehensive newsletter. Yes. And as I said, we've we, we've been short. We took a little at this morning. I said, let's take a little more profit off the, the, our short position. And we have been stopped out on the long side of our longer positions with some nice gains. But I'm looking, I'm actually starting to look now at positions we want to get back into because I think a big chunk of the move to the downside has been done. Now, I, mean, I call this, if you think of an earthquake that has an aftershock, I like to say internal low, there's a chance you could be followed, followed by a residual low, and that comes later. So this 200 period moving average now could be a little bounce of period, we could make an arch formation. How we come back and test is gonna be really important because in a couple of days, there are so many stocks that got really oversold. I mean, you look at some of these things. I mean, even look at look at an Amazon, which has been one of the leaders. Look at this move from 20, 2035, the most recent high, down to yesterday's low of 1750 was a yeah 1748. Yeah. That loves to move like that. I know. <laughs> right. So I'm always looking at weekly charts, and that's the big thing that concerns me right here, because almost all the weekly charts have gone to the letter D or E. And that says to me, you've got to be somewhat careful here. I think now we could be using up more time maybe than price. But I think we've got to, I, I'm waiting for this Friday because that tells me certainly on the Dow and the S&P whether this trend line resistance is enough. You can see the support we're testing right now. So it's a very important week coming up. <coughs> and folks, the way you get Bowser's newsletter, come over to our website at TFNN. You're going to go right on the front page. You're going to under featured content. You're going to see the opening call. Hit that subscribe button. Bowser, you have a great one. Safe one. Of course, we look forward to the show tomorrow. Thank you, Tom. You too. Thank you. Stay right there, folks. Come right back.